Hello and welcome to our very first video of Freedom Craft Tekken Tutorials. Is is there is there water bubble? Is it Curtis? What are you doing? Yes. Uh, I'm in my hot tub. Where you know where are my clothes in a hot tub? Taking I, a bath. Uh, that, that's your that's your magical robe that I got you for your, for your birthday. You, yeah, well, it it, it, it got it's, dirty. It's ruined. You ru uh, you, Well, you, it was. Or, uh, you you know, didn't I, see the hot sauce I, stains on it, so. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You know, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, so anyway, it, it anyway, feels like wait, wait. it feels like crap if it's not wet. So. Okay. Well, don't we need this? Uh, don't we need this for a uh, demonstration? Today. Um. I mean, our first video, know. our first video, and already you're you're turning our demonstrations into a hot tub. Well, I think I need a break. So. You, you know what? I I. You know. Okay. Okay. You know what? Okay. Okay. I, I'm fine with that. I'm gonna go tell them how those machines over there suck, and then when I get back, <laughs> we're going to uh. Check this out, and but you're gonna get out of that hot tub. That's attractive. That's why you have so many girlfriends. Yeah. Anyway, so now these machines over here. Now, well, let's get down to business. These machines over here. Uh, this one is good. This one is terrible because it's not really that high. But say it was that high, this one would probably be fairly well. <coughs> but it's not unlimited power. This is a low voltage solar array, which is equivalent to nine. Or I'm sorry. Excuse me. Eight solar panels just regular old solar panels so that's that's equivalent to a quick little power flower so that will fill up a bat box really fairly quick we've had this on what five minutes so that's that it was filled up at like five ten minutes so okay and now this machine over here if this was up a lot higher it would work but sadly it's not um so these are windmills and what these do is these just these basically just generate small amounts of power. Right now, there's no power in it because it's not high up. But um, if it was the, as high up as it really needed to be, we'd only see like a little speck. So I I chose not to do that. Anyway, so yeah, they they pretty much just sit there and don't really do anything. Well, well I mean the other in one my works. understanding, the other one works, but this one doesn't. No, so, no, I mean like. The actual windmills, like technically speaking, they actually do not do anything. They just sit there and make a lot of noise. Well, I, well, right now, right now they do. But if we put them in the right spot, I'm sure we'd be good. So, these are you know basic uses of power, and you know they're possible. Uh, it's not, it's not that bad. But uh, let's get down to our unlimited power usage. So this is semi-expensive. Cannonball. How'd you like that one? Uh, there was no tuck. It was more of a pencil. All right, uh, Curtis, I'm going to kindly have to ask you to remove yourself from the hot tub. Uh, we're also going to use your hot tub to uh, generate to generate power. Is that okay? Oof! What did you? Oh, oh my um, God! What did you have to eat? <coughs> All right. Anyway. Uh, sorry. Those those onions and yeah. My my Sunday. They don't. Yeah, your onion sundae from Spongebob. That was a bad idea to make. Yeah, we catch up on all that. Anyway, so we need, we got... It's still pretty first good, of all, not gonna lie. It, it, it was, it was. But first of all, what you're going to need is you're going to need a 5x5 five five square of water. So you can put this in the ground in the sky like we did it with cobblestone. So basically what you're going to need is uh, around 5... 5, 9, other numbers, other numbers... So you're gonna need other numbers of cobblestone to uh, do this. Anyway, so aside I didn't know that other numbers was a number. It, it is. It is. It's, it's quite. I did not know that. Hmm. <laughs> so anyway, what we're gonna need to do is um, I'm gonna open up my inventory and I'm gonna show you what's what. So you're going to need not one of these. Hold on. Let me just delete the not things that I don't need, like this computer, this interdiction torch. And this photo of my mother. It was invisible. You don't need to see that. Anyway, so. Oh, I want to see it. Can I see it? Please, no, please, no, please, no, please, no, please, no, please, please. No, 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 no. Yeah. No. 
Anyway, so what we're gonna need is you're gonna need 17 water strainers. Yeah, I know that's a lot, but it's possible. It's also for oh, no, guys. They're really, they're really easy to make. They're not that expensive. So yes. So um, you're gonna need 17 water strainers. Here's how to make them. Here's the recipe. You're going to need a tank, which is made up of. It's basically like making a glass furnace, and you get a tank. And no, it's not a tank that goes boom. It's a real tank. Like, it's it's one of those. It's a water tank. So another thing, uh, you're also going to need a windmill, a uh, water mill. Excuse me, water mill. Open that. And yeah, the that, windmills are over there. Yeah. So this is a generator and just a whole a whole bunch of wood in that order. And the generator is made like so. There's two different ways you can make a generator. Furnace, machine block, RE battery, or iron furnace, which is made by making a regular, you know, iron furnace, as one would think. Um, so you can make an iron furnace, three refined iron, and an RE battery. And a lot of people think that these need to be charged because they have the red line in them. They don't have to be charged. They, they could be regular old batteries. So, and, uh... Oh, and also, what you're going to need is a. You iron... got cut off of there a bit. No, I, I just let go of the control so you couldn't hear me, but the audience could hear me. So uh, another thing, you, another thing that you're going to need is a uh, water, uh, iron waterproof pipe. And just pay attention, pay attention to my mouse. So uh, you're going to need pipe waterproof and an iron transport pipe. So yeah, that's that. So, so let's uh, so that's the water strainer. You're also gonna need an MFE or any any type of power source. We or any type of power storage unit. We use an MFE, so it's made like so: machine block, energy crystals, gold insulated cables, things of that such. You you're also one of the most important parts to this is an energy link. So energy links are fairly expensive to make and also quite asymmetrical uh, but they're worth it they're very worth it you're gonna need two advanced alloys three redstone two golden gears a wooden conductive pipe and a copper cable so the way you make advanced alloys is you're going to make a mixed metal ingot and put it into a compressor the mixed metal ingot is made by putting uh, refined iron three refined iron on top three bronze in the middle and three tin in the bottom and that'll give you two so uh... yep the so that's the advanced alloys the copper cable you should know how to make um, the wooden conductive pipe uh... it's just a wooden transport pipe and redstone a wooden transport pipe is made by putting any types of wood planks and a piece of glass in the middle Matt, look at this, look at this. Oh, uh, uh, I pooped in the tub. I didn't know that you pooped out of your mouth. It's possible, you know. Uh, that's, that's, that's gross. You should, go think, you should go get that checked out. I did. They just told me to get out of the orphanage. Mm. Uh, I think you went to the wrong facility. They told me to get out of the dentist office too, but meh. I, I guess that is close enough. But anyway, so yeah, it's coming out of my mouth. Dentists or mouth doctors, right? Correct. So let's get back to showing the audience some recipes and boring them to death. How about? It? All right. Yay! So what you're also gonna need is you're gonna need one pump, and a pump is made by a mining well and a tank. We showed you the tank earlier. Uh, mining well. Six iron ingots, an iron gear, a piece of redstone, and an iron pickaxe. If you don't know how to how to make an iron pickaxe, please end the video now. Thank you. Just so an, get an, out. GTFO. Yeah, just just get GTFO. Out. So an iron gear is made by surrounding a stone gear with four iron ingots. The stone gear is made by surrounding a wooden gear with four pieces of cobblestone, and a wooden gear is just four sticks. And now also that that also works for the gold gear. 
uh, is a iron gear surrounded by gold with the same recipe. I forgot to tell you that earlier. So you're also going to need golden waterproof pipes and ultra low current cable. Golden waterproof pipes are just regular golden transport pipes. So boom, boom, and some glass. So that'll give you some water. Uh, that'll give you some regular pipes, and you're also going to need pipe waterproof to put to a golden transport pipe. Now the pipe waterproof is made by Cactus Green. It just putting it into your crafting, and it'll make waterproof. And uh, Cactus Green is made by smelting a cactus. Who would have thunk it? Smelt a cactus. Curtis, have you ever uh, have you ever had the desire to smelt a cactus? I've had the desire to lick a cactus. Is that the same thing or no? It's it's close enough. It's close enough. Yeah, it it wasn't fun, guys. Yeah. Okay. So what we're also going to need is ultra low current cables, which is just three tin in a row. It gives you nine of them. So let's get to building. Um. Curtis, why don't you explain to me how we start? Let's let you demonstrate. Okie dokie. Okay, ready? You be the serious person now. I'll give you all the components. Okay. Oh, components. They make me feel so good. Oh, yes. Okay, so, uh, whoa, and whoa, also... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, real fast. This Minecraft... Come on. You just stuck w wires in a tub? They weren't live. Like, they, they weren't live. They were rolled up. They were secure. They're in a nice plastic bag. No, no, they're not. Look they, at these things. They Look, are. They see? are perfectly fine. Just stop. Just stop. They are perfectly fine. Fine. Go give me some dirt. I need some dirt. Oh, do you need dirt? You ready? I'll use my magical, my magical yeah. scientist powers of science. I'll use my magical scientist powers of science to get you some dirt. Oh, don't forget. Don't forget, we also need a generator, too. Oh, yes, and also, I'm sorry, audience. You're also going to need... You're also going to need a generator. Uh, that is to jumpstart the machine, because you do need a bit of power before you um, start. And it can't be from a RE battery. It has to be from a generator. So uh, I'll show you how to make a generator in one second. Show them how to make it. Sh show them. I will. So here is how you make a generator, everybody. Oh, I did already show you how to make a generator. I apologize. Anyway. Oh yeah. So uh, I'm so, going to um, open my toolbox. Boom! Got me some tools instantaneously. And no, this isn't a plug-in. This is an actual tech it item. It's a toolbox. Basically. You. It's part of the computer pit craft mod. Yes, it is. So that's how you that's how you make it. I don't know why I'm lagging with a lap pack, but uh, that's how you make it. Okay. Then uh, from there. Oh, guys! You just if you're put... gonna put it. Yes. Oh, um, don't put more than eight items in it, or it will like kill your game. In other words, it will force your tech it to crash, which is not good. So uh, yeah, just no put it, BN. Yeah, just put it in your uh, yeah for the uh, the Spanish people out there. Anyway, so you're gonna put it in your uh, hot bar, all the tools that you want, and then you just right click, and then it fills, and then you right click again, and it gives you all your stuff back. So uh, continue with the building of the uh, graceful machine. Okay. Pay attention, camera boy. Right, so you. Uh, you play, you place some dirt. It's just simple dirt. Yes, yes, dirt is not quite anything right. special. Dirt, dirt is quite yes. Right. Place that pump down. Okay, pause mm -hmm. it there. That's pause sexy. There. So as you can see, you got uh, the five by five square, and the cobblestone isn't five by five. The water is. Uh, I'm not. Even, it's probably six by six. One, two, three. Three, five, six, seven. All right, so you got your seven by seven square, and uh, you're gonna put, starting from the middle of the square, you're gonna put one, two, three dirt, and then you're going to attach a pump to the end of it, so it's in the middle of the square. 
make sure this little black line or this little pump part comes down or retracts uh, if it does not do this you if it does not do this your pump is broken and you need to destroy it and replace it so continue Curtis okie dokie uh, so now you place down some uh, these things gold, uh, gold pipe things uh, gold and waterproof pipes use your brain use your brain oh yeah like that uh, oh. uh, and then you put them down here you might want to get a better view of this from like all the way up there that I will with my handy dandy swift wolf that you gave me yeah so let me just say something uh, this is the 5x5 five five square Ooh. of water 5x5 five five square of water you're going to take the golden waterproof pipes and align it just like the dirt except don't so, put it, yeah. don't put it, don't put it on the cobblestone put down your pipes like that guys so, yeah. very interesting do not put them on the cobblestone edge that's not something that you do unless you, you're gonna like break them afterwards and you could do that perfectly fine but, yes, your, final uh, pro your final product should not have them on the uh, cobblestone. So continue building, Curtis. Okie dokie. Then you put some what, water strainers. I just now, said that. Now remember, don't put your water strainers. Don't put four because the one that's that would be in this corner will not be connected. Also, do not put three here because you're going to need to have your energy link placed in somewhere in this area. Okay. Just attach. You're going to put. Basically, what you're going to do is you're going to attach water strainers to every single side of each pipe except for the back on the cobblestone. What you're going to do is you're going to not place anything on the cobblestone. Just to prevent lag, we do set it today in the server. Uh, just to prevent lag. Also, uh, you can't really see this, but um, this server is ran off of Hamachi. So, if you're going to ask for the server IP in the uh, comments, please don't. Thank you. So, continue. First. It's my server, guys. Yes, it is hosted by Super Bunny locally in the United States, Long Island, New York. Yay! So, Don't tell them where I live, you creep ass. Well, I didn't tell them what town or your address. Shh, shh. Well, okay, okay, shh. okay. All right, all right. Just you, don't explode now. Uh, continue to uh, <laughs> continue to uh, build your amazing machine of amazingness. Okay. Then you put down an, a simple energy link. So let me get an aerial view of this setup so far. So in this middle block right here, you have your pump below that. Uh, then you have the water strainer on top, and then you have the gold pipes that go out, and you have water strainers on every single side of the gold pipe, except for the cobblestone parts. Then in the middle, where you left a space in front of your pump, you're going to put a energy link. So continue, Curtis. Okie dokie. Um... So then you put your MFE bat box or MFSU right there. You're going to put it on top of the energy link on the top. Okay, and um, now you gotta wire it up. So, so uh, now we are going to place the ultra low current cables. You could really use any type of uh, you could use any type of cable, correct? Uh, um, ultra um. True, but not true. Explain. Um, I would use ultra low, cause it's the be it's the best for this. Like you could use glass fiber, but I find that a waste. Copper cables are okay, and uh, these are just good because you don't have to waste rubber on insulating them, and you can just step on them, won't get electrocuted or anything. So that's good. And also, you do not lose any power by using these because it's such a short distance that no power is lost in the transfer whether they're insulated or not so please yes, continue yes but things. I would not recommend like trans pulling this all the way to your house or something like that that's that's a no no 
Yeah, the only way you would do that is with glass fiber cables where minuscule amounts of power are lost. Um, so that's why, um, you know, glass fiber cables travel, uh, carry more power along longer distances. So please continue, Curtis. Uh, show them how to jump start this now. I didn't even wire it up. God, skipping ahead a bit? Yeah, I'm skipping ahead. I, I enjoy um, doing that. I'm, I'm an, I'm an enjoyous. This one would say. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, do you mind, like, just narrating this so I hook this up? Like, how do you, what do you want me to do? Just narrate, like, okay, just hmm. tell them what I'm doing. Okay. So basically, what he's doing right now is he's connecting all of the water strainers to the MFF, MFE, or whatever your power unit is, which should either be a Batbox, MFSU, or an MFE, like us. If you do it like us, you're very supportive. So, the only reason why he's not putting one in the middle, or on the side, is because as you can see, the one, this one right here, is all set. It's wired on both sides. Um, this one right here is just directly attached to the MFE, so you don't need any type of um, wires to do that. That would just be a waste to put it on top. So now that we're all wired up with the least amount of wires that you really need to use, because um, this is the minimum wires that you need to use. You could totally just wire out your machine completely, but that'd be a waste of wires. So uh, I'd only do that to make it look pretty if you're in creative mode. We are wire eco-friendly. We do not waste no wires here. We also do not waste no time learning grammar. <laughs> True that. Too jack. Um, oh, just telling you, I do hook up this wire right in front of me to this, uh, just so that, like, the electric... <laughs> um, so the electric can, like, run through this and be in, like, get in on all sides evenly. Get, it, get in on I don't all know. sides. Get in on all sides. That's what she said. I, I can't really explain it, but it works better like that. It gains more power. Um... Can you give me that generator? I could give or, you that uh, generator. You, you, show, you show it. You show it. Yeah, I'll show it. I enjoy doing this. So you're going to need one generator to... Uh, Curtis, I'm going to cut off for a second. Okay. Sorry. So basically what you're going to do is... Uh, oh, and also, Curtis, I'm talking to him on uh, our raid call server. So I have, to, I have it on push to talk. So I need to push control. That's my setting. So I need to push control to uh, talk to him. So what you're going to do is you're going to shift, right click on the energy link. Okay, so this is just a regular old generator. So you're going to open your generator and you're going to take a piece of coal. So from the coal, just put it in the generator. As you can see, everything starts to work. And I'm going to then take away the generator and... Um, show you that it does continue to work without the generator. So as you can see it is still working. Oh and the energy uh, real fast Matt. And also I guess you don't yeah. have you don't have to shift click because the energy link I just realized does not have a GUI. Which means it doesn't have like an inter menu. So anyway, as you can see, this is still pumping wait, water. Wait, wait, I wanna, I wanna, no, no, shh, shh, right, okay. I wanna explain it. Can okay. I explain it? Can okay. I explain it? Yay! Right, explain, it, explain it, explain it. Okay, guys, so this is the main breakthrough. Uh, when you put the generator in, it powered the energy link, which goes into the pump. Okay. And Matt, you might want to come over here, you know. Follow me, camera guy. All right, all right, all right. Yes, gosh. And so it pumps up the water, it pumps up the water, puts it into the energy energy strainer, water, which water then strainer. takes the energy the water strainer leave me alone <laughs> but uh yeah so um you put it then it goes through the cables into the mfe which just exerts any excess power to the energy link the energy link will go back into the pump and it's a vicious vicious cycle well it's not that vicious i mean it's just straining water for god's sakes i mean if it was going to be vicious you know we should just duct tape a tiger to it or something we're going to make it vicious <laughs> Yeah. So anyway, well, yeah, that, it, that's our, uh, that's our it's spot. It's gaining man. a rapid amount of power, so. 
So uh, as you can see, this is an infinite loop, and it is also a very efficient infinite loop. So this would have filled up uh, quite a few bat boxes already. So you could say goodbye uh, to those old versions of power. P and you know, piece of crap one. over there. Yeah, piece of crap. Okay, yeah. real f Just piece of poop. Uh, real fast, guys. Um, yeah, we wanted to keep it like GPG tops, but um, yeah. So um. Just telling you guys, uh, I use this on, me and Matt use this on another server, and, uh... Um, yes, actually, hold on, let me tell you that right now. Uh, we are part of a server, I applied for mod, um, I'm not sure if I got it, but, uh, anyway, we're part of another server on TechIt, and it is a public server, and it still has a lot of space, and it is called TechItCraft. This is one of my favorite servers. This server is my pride and joy. I usually go on to it every day. This server is. I am so hey, sorry. Why, I am so why sorry. did you just punch me? I am so sorry. Hey. I, I am so sorry. Oh, fisty cuffs? You want a fisty cuffs? Uh, well, well, guys, we'll leave the IP in the uh, thing in the description. Yeah, we'll leave know? the IP uh, at their at their uh, at their. You know, we'll ask them first. Uh, if there's no IP, that means yeah. we ask them, and they said no. Don't put it on YouTube. Because, you know, we always have to go Or they by said the no. Yeah, or they said no, get out of here. Get out of my house, you creepy creeper, Curtis. Okay, so back to this, yeah. I'll, I'll stop telling about my personal life. Um, Kurt, uh, Matt, come over here. Alright. What have we got? Um, so, so um, I want to say a couple things before we, uh, you know, skedaddle. It's so hard <laughs> to say goodbye to a YouTube video. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, don't don't cover these because for some reason, if you cut like if you like, um, if you put a if you put a block like on uh, like on the water strainer over the water, for some r strange reason, it will like go away. The water will just deplete. Yes, for some odd reason, the pump I guess just sucks up all the water. And it doesn't replenish because there's there's uh, entity on top of it. Uh, I'll get into that to actually you know explaining it like more thoroughly. But uh, for now, if you want to cover it up, just don't. Or if you're really you know well, just actually just don't. No, screw you. No. What you could really do the reason why we saved the cobblestone border is actually there's actually a reason. Curtis, I'm gonna cut off because I need to use my controls because I'm gonna do this real quick. Okay. Wait, one thing before you cut off. Um, if you guys, like, say you have an MFE or a bat box, it's going to fill up really fast, okay? So if you take energy from there, and it's, it's going to replenish itself, but you might not see, like, all these lights green, because that means they're working. You might just see this top one right here in the middle. Matt, you might want to come up here. This top... Uh, you can fly. Stop being special. I couldn't this fly because I didn't, one that... have my, uh, I didn't have my swift wolf in, okay? Calm down. Okay. Well, this one will be the only one running because it's the closest to the MFE uh, or the bat box. It, it shouldn't fill up that fast if you have a, uh, what's it called? Uh, the um, MFSU. MFSU. Yeah, that thing. Yeah. So, it's a good machine. So, uh, yeah, thank you, and, um, Yeah, definitely, got, you should definitely invest in this, guys, on any server. It's amazing, and I love it, and I love this thing. I love you. I gave up my hot tub for it. That's how much I love it. Yeah, he gave up his, like, vacation hot tub and everything. Uh, well, actually, you didn't give it up completely. I mean, it's still labeled Curtis's hot tub. Yes! Alright, yeah, uh, guys, I'll, I'll uh, have this... the, uh, I'll have the sign man remove that tomorrow. Oh, wait, real fast, guys. This can't be regular water. This has to be stinky uh, wizard bath water. If it's not, then it will not work. Just saying, he's lying. It could be. Ah, 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 it's your. Oh, no, I, I just threw my tools at it. Why did I throw my tools at it? Kill it. Alright, I killed it. I killed it. Okay. Why did I throw my tools at it? Why did I throw my tools at it? Uh, uh, Here are your tools. Damn, spider. Oh. Fast. The, the drill actually. Is a uh, spade. Yes. Did we really get into that today? I don't know how long this video.
Uh, it'll be fairly long. Anyway, so the last part is going to be me showing you how to cover it up successfully uh, and without it actually just completely, utterly destroying your game and, you know, not making it not work. So, uh, thank you and uh, enjoy. Uh, Curtis is going to be saying goodbye now. Goodbye, Curtis. And I am now going to be cut off to Curtis now. Alright, so right now Curtis can't hear me. So I can say something to him and say like, Banana, you suck, you eat terrible, terrible old people. And he can't hear me.